So today's tutorial, let's go back to kicks. Uh, I want to talk about the roundhouse. Now, the roundhouse is another hinge kick. So it's coming off of the knee. So it, the way that I like to think about kicks, we have two kinds of, two styles of kicks. We have hinge kicks that come off the knee, and then we have thrusting kicks that come off our, our hip. So the roundhouse is basically a front snap kick switched over on a 90 degree. Now from here, you've got a really nice hold, and then you have an extension. Now when you extend, you're trying to hit with this upper part of your foot right here, the instep, okay? Um, some styles, Muay Thai in particular, will teach you to kick along the shin. Um, some people will even say ball of the foot. Really, it's contextual. What am I using this roundhouse kick on? But the big thing that you want to focus on is the fold, the extension, and then the refold. A lot of people, when they kick, particularly with roundhouses, you see this. They just get kind of lazy with it. You want to make sure that you always have the ability to kick more than once. You're incorporating your core into the kick by staying upright and maintaining your balance. But again, three motions. Fold, extension, and then refold before you put the kick down. If you don't see those three steps in your kick, you gotta take, you gotta spend a little bit more time in the dojo. All right guys, I'll